Hey guys, Ryan here with GoFort Studios again. I've got a, a pretty fun project today that kind of came up out of nowhere and I was like, oh, I should video this. And uh, my roommate Dan's like, yeah, I mean, put it on your YouTube channel, why not? I'm like, you know what, why not? <laughs> uh, so we're getting rid of this, uh, I don't know, recliner. Uh, not a lazy boy. I don't know what brand it is, but I wish I could find out. Anyway, I robbed the uh, vibrator pack system from it because I think I'm gonna put that in my shotgun seat and uh, have it hardwired into my inverter. Um, and then that way, whoever's sitting in my shotgun seat will have the ability to have a lower back vibrator on both ones. All right, so I was able to wire it into my power inverter on the actual uh, posts back over there. And they work, it's a 12 volt system, which is sweet. <laughs> Uh, so right now I've just removed the this is the 99 all-wheel drive and on the inside I don't know if it's gonna allow enough light. Let me see if I can grab my flashlight real quick and show you. Yeah, so on the 99, I'll focus past that. Anyway, on that there is a clip that you just pop off with a flathead unless you got smaller hands you can reach back there and take it off and then they just slide out just like that so that retaining clip goes into that groove and this is the outside one um, and now i'm just going to go ahead and pull this off and i'm probably going to take out or adjust the lumbar adjusting system back here and then that way i can mount the vibrator in there um and put the seat back covered or seat cover back down over it um and then i'm gonna have to do some rewiring on that harness to extend the lines uh, so that it'll reach both seats uh, because there's a left and a right control on that uh, remote and uh once i get it all rewired i'm gonna have fully functioning vibrating lumbar support so That'll be pretty exciting, and I'll show you guys how it goes. Now, on the front side, you've got these uh, rails that go all the way up. And as you can see, there's a tether that connects the seat cover to it. So just be conscious of that so you're not pulling on it. Just small little micro adjustments up as you're scrunching that seat cover. Um, and I'm just going to move it up. I'm not probably going to take it all the way off. I'm just going to move it up enough that I have full access or most of the access I need which I'm almost there to make my changes oh look at that to the lumbar support so I'm going to see how it all engages how it works um, and then I'm going to go from there on making my adjustments to make the vibrator fit either into the system or remove some of the system since I never really use it and I have it turned all the way down anyway, and the vibrator is gonna add just a little bit of support anyway with uh, the padding around it and the bulk. So, uh, pretty stoked. Like, this is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be, thank God. But yeah, I'll keep you guys, keep going. All right, so that was quick. It's a very easy process. Once you lift up this little piece up here, you can just pop these rods out of these clips. So, how this works is when, well, First, I got this cable off. So if you loosen it up all the way so that it's in the most relaxed position, you can pull up a little bit and dislodge this from where it sits up in one of these slots. And then you can dislodge the bottom from where it fits down in one of those slots. And from there, you can pop these little plastic clips off these rails. So I'm gonna pop off these bottoms and then I can take this whole plate out. I don't have to remove any of the rest of the system in case I ever decide to go back to this. Um, but you can see this plate's already moving around pretty easily. So once I get this all disconnected, I'll slide it out and go ahead and get my uh, vibrating pad up in there and probably tape it or something, mount it somehow to this crossbar and that way it holds it in position right here. Um, and then I can easily run my wiring down through the corner even here to where it'll drop through on the bottom. Um, and then I can have my wiring neatly routed and tucked away. And since this is the swivel seat, it's gonna have 
uh, a little bit extra wiring that's going to wrap around so that no and no matter no matter what the position it's in it'll be able to operate and if it's not easy to run the wiring like that and it's going to get too twisted then what i can do is i can have this clip that will that operates this vibrating pad accessible likely down over here so that before it goes into swivel mode i can unclip it and swivel the seat and then have that wire be mounted neutrally so that when it is facing all the way around it has enough to reclip on the back side over their kitty corner so i'm going to go ahead and keep going on this and then i'm going to do the driver's seat i'm pretty stoked it's going to be awesome to be able to have vibrating seats while i drive so the easiest sorry for the sun the easiest way i found is the biggest open corners are on these sides so if I push this rod in a little bit, then I can just start finagling this thing up and out and boom, free and clear, ready to get installed on here. Um, and if I do decide to make this more permanent and it seems like I need to attach it better, I could always use some 3M spray, uh, that Super 77 or Super 90, whatever, and spray it here it on. And then I know for sure it's not going anywhere pretty stoked okay so I just wrapped I pushed these rods forward so that there's still some solid bracing um, so I just kind of rotated them and pushed them to where they were touching that pad that way there's still there's too much give now with that brace gone uh, that lumbar support so I pushed these forward and you pretty easy to bend these little rods um, and uh, then went ahead and duct taped it around this back cross beam and then duct taped it to those rods so that it keeps that pressure forward. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the seat cover now back down to where it needs to be. And this is already plugged in, so with my little remote, you can hear it going. So I'm gonna get this resituated almost to exactly where it needs to be sit down in it turn it on test it out um, and then i am going to go ahead and reroute this um, and yeah we'll keep moving forward with it if i like it i'll do it to the driver's seat all right so it still looks good too actually and pushing those rods forward gave it just enough more so that it is actually pretty comfortable and then Go ahead and turn it on. And then that's on low. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And then medium. And high. And that that's pretty good. And it vibrates all the way up through the whole seat, which is phenomenal. Um, so I'm just going to leave the upholstery down, get everything put back together, tucked in the way it's supposed to be and I uh, get the armrest back on um, and then I'm gonna run this connector cord where it disconnects here I'm gonna run that through the bottom seats upholstery and figure out the length of wiring and all that stuff later because I don't have any actual wiring but thankfully it's all written on here for what I need which is like 20 aug or something like that um, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off Super stoked that I have massage chairs now in my van um, with different settings and a remote. That's just too neat to me. Um, really grateful for my roommate not throwing that chair out and saving it for me just in case I wanted to do something with it. And he was right. I figured out a use for it. Um, and I'm stoked because it works. And uh, yeah. I'll uh, let you guys know how it goes on the rest of the install later, but that's kind of what I'm going to be working on or putting around, tinkering on. So pretty excited. Hope everybody's having a great night. Tuesday. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to get it all put back together now. Sweet. So it is all put back together and now it's dark. Um, getting those clips back on the pins is incredibly difficult uh if you have you know fat stubby fingers thanks mom um, <laughs> but uh 
Yeah, um, I got them on. Seats all put back together. It looks great. The lumbar is pushed out a little bit, which actually feels really good. And everything's wired up. And so anytime I want, I've got a swivel seat now with the vibrating lumbar. And I'm gonna do the same modification to my driver's seat. Um, I don't know if you guys get a sore lower back on long road trips, but I definitely do. And uh, I think that's just gonna feel really nice. Um, so that'll be a project for another day since it's already dark. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me again, you guys. Being patient with me as I fiddle around and figure things out. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them. And I'll catch you guys on the next fan project. <laughs> have a great night.